Okay, so this is the way that you should take your videos from your iPhone and put them onto your Mac to edit. Or, uh, yeah, I'm just using a Mac, so this is the way to do it. I was using AirDrop, which is, uh, I think, through like Wi-Fi from your iPhone to your Mac, and you select um, your photos on your iPhone, and then you tap Share, and then there's this little AirDrop thing. So like little videos like this one here that's six seconds and one minute uh, or 221, those work. That works using AirDrop. Uh, but ones like this that are 16 minutes and 40 seconds don't work. It uh, takes forever. It converts. Now, again, I use, um, I'm use i using 4K at 60 frames per second on my iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, maybe with HD, it'll work through AirDrop. But I, I usually use AirDrop, but it just, it's really been hanging and taking forever to get onto my Mac um, through AirDrop. So this was the, the kicker. This is one where I had to find it a new way. You guys may know this, but I just wanted to make a video uh, to save some uh, someone some grief because this is how I'll do it from now on because I've been doing this puppet tutorial. As you can see, I've got a whole pile of um, puppets here, uh, puppet videos. And the way to do it is use the photo app on your Mac. And I didn't even know I had it on here, but I just went to Launchpad and it's right here, Photos. So you just click that and we're in here in Photos. Then my phone, which is hooked up through a USB cable uh, to the Mac, uh, shows up here. And I just went to my phone and I could see all the videos and photos I have taken with my iPhone. Uh, which point I selected all the latest stuff that I needed, all the puppet videos, which were where? Da, 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 da. Oh, so they're not showing up since they've been imported. Okay, um, let's see. So, okay, so I guess if they're already on my computer, they why import them, right? Um, see, import all new items. You can select this on the top right-hand side. Uh, or you can select stuff, let's say... This is a house. I'll take these three, and I'll take maybe this video, and it says import for selected. Let's click those, and I think it's already done. There's already done. Now with the big video, that 16 minute one, there is a little clock up here that shows you the progress. Uh, but then I went away and had a coffee, came back, and it was all done. So, that is the way I'm going to do it from now on because at one point, I don't know if you guys ever done this before, but through AirDrop, it was sort of, it was hang, it was taking forever. It would say converting and then if the screen went dark, it would stop the process and it was so annoying. So I, I would always have to shake <laughs> the screen with my fingers, sort of like back and forth, scroll it so it wouldn't freeze up um, and then wait for instance, with a 16 minute one, it was taking 16 minutes to convert it, um, and I don't need that. This is a very fast process. This is the way to do it. This is how I will do it in the future, uh, because going from an iPhone that shoots a fantastic video onto a Mac using Final Cut Pro, and I guess you guys would use iMovie as well, um, it's just very fast. I get it onto YouTube as fast as possible. Anyways, guys, I hope this uh, helps someone out there. If it helps one person, I'm happy because I had a little uh, problem finding um, a fast way to do this. I was using iTunes, which is just a horror show <laughs> to get videos onto your computer. You have to sync and all that jazz. Um, so I don't recommend that way, but this is the way to do it using the photo app. Go to Launchpad again, um, and that is the way to do it. So guys, um, yes, uh, please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and I will talk to you guys later. Cheers.